Hey, what's up everybody? I'm back with another unboxing video. So, yes, it's November. Yes, I am wearing a Halloween, well, I would say shirt. It's a dress and bat wing earrings and my Halloween decorations are still up. All for this moment. <laughs> my October snack crate has arrived. So for a little while, this did get stuck in customs, which is no big deal. It happens, I understand. But the shipping notifications never updated for this. And so I was like, wow, it's still stuck in customs like two weeks into November. And I was like, this is crazy. And then it came. Dun, dun, dun. And so I could finally wear this dress. I'm so excited. <laughs> And then after this video, the Halloween decorations will come down and it is time for Christmas. <laughs> Let's get into it. Uh, this is their premium box. I want to say we're going to India. Yes, ah, I remembered. Woohoo. All right, so here we go, India. I'm so excited. Or no, did I call it their premium box? Their family box. It is, I've, everyone's got different names for everything. And I just, I have such a hard time remembering. Oh my gosh, I love this paper. Check out the paper they used. Oh, I like that. I'm so excited. It could, it could have been snacks. <laughs> All right, and then this is what we have. As always, I break down snack crate boxes because they do. <laughs> so we're going to be starting off with the mini box. So if you were, so if you ordered the mini box, these are the snacks you got. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. I just, I just saw something I've been wanting to have for such a long time again. Gosh, I'm so excited to get to it. Ah! Okay. Anyways. Anyways, this is where we're going to start. Uh, we are in the mini box, and the very first item is the uh, Cur Cure, which is the brand, and Chili Chaka. Because these are spicy. Oh my gosh, I was so disappointed in myself. I was eating some salt and pepper um, vegan jerky, and I was like, wow, these are spicy. <laughs> it's just pepper. Oh, these smell really, really good. Oh, uh, that's what they look like. Oh, uh, it might be one of those ones that kind of like build. It's not super spicy, but it is, I mean, it is spicy. You can taste the spices. It's really good. Okay, so now we're going to move on to our next snack. And this is Jam In. Oh, that sounded like such a... Camp Rock. I don't know why. I don't know why that made me think of Camp Rock. Jammin'. It's the Jammin' Station. Okay, so you could have got one of mm, three different flavors. It was either orange strawberry or black currant. I got the black currant ones. I feel like I feel like I I always get the black currant flavored things. It smells good. Looks good. They're okay. I feel like I would have wanted a different jam flavor. I don't dislike black currant, but it's not my favorite. So this next one is a fried Indian snack. Uh, I don't know how to say it. So there's gonna be like a curry and red chili flavor. I love curry, so, oh. So let me just show you what they look like. Softer than I thought they were gonna be. A little spicy. Uh, they, they taste good though. Right before the spiciness hit, there was like, almost like a sweetness as, what are they called? B basan sticks? Kind of like, they were soft and kind of dissolved a little bit. The flavor's good. I'm just, I'm just a weakling when it comes to the spicy stuff. Ah, I know a lot of you are going to say something about that the water makes it worse, but that's all I got. 
All right, so moving on, we got um, India's Magic Masala. This is Lay's brand. Your standard potato chip, but these are ruffled. Actually, I don't, I didn't like that. Mm. It's a mix of like cumin, garlic, and chili, but it's not, I feel like it didn't blend well together. I, I don't, there's something about it that I don't, not liking. Okay, so we're gonna move on. And this is the last item for the mini box, and it is little mango candies. I was not expecting them to be green. You can sort of taste mango, but there's so many different mangoes <laughs> out there that they all taste, you know, slightly different. It reminds me a little bit of a candy. I cannot remember what they're called at right now. I'll, I'll put, put like a little picture up here when I figure it out. But they were like pine sap candies. These make me think of that a little bit, but with like a mango twist. I neither like them nor dislike them. Okay, so that was the end of the mini box. So if you ordered a mini box, that is what you got. So now we're going to move on to the original box, which includes everything we got in the mini box, plus what we are about to try. Okay, so now we are moving on to this snack. A katamitha? Mita? Uh, this one's sweet and salty with a mix of sago and rice flakes. I actually think I've had this one before. This is what it looks like. Mmm, definitely sweet and sour. Oh, uh, this one's good. I really like this one. Oh, just so I don't move on and forget about it. This, I don't get the drinks. Um, but this is the drink that would have been in it. Thumbs up was a true Indian classic. This lightly carbonated soda has the perfect amount of spice to cut through its sweetness. We are going to be moving on to Parl G Biscuits. Why are my hands empty? <laughs> That's the kind of expression. Or it, it just got taken from the kid and they're like, excuse me. I don't know. I mean, I'm weird. I know I'm not big fans of biscuits. Definitely more of like the stuff my mom likes. Okay, these are pretty good. They're very simple. Lightly sweetened. Just kind of tastes like your standard biscuit ingredients. Slightly buttery. Yeah, those are great. I feel like those would taste really, really good. Dipped in like dark chocolate. Um, those are good though. Yeah. I mean... I'm still not a big fan of like biscuit texture. Like I, I end up finding I like the taste, but then I don't want to eat the biscuits just because it like, gets all stuck in your teeth. And I just, I don't know, I'm picky like that, I suppose. We are moving on and we are going to be trying Poppins. Fruit flavored jelly candies. They also have a unique texture that Indians refer to as pulpy. Interesting. Okay, how about that? So that's what they look like. I didn't really get the unique texture. It tasted like a hard, it, well, I mean, it felt like a hard candy. The orange flavor was really good. I liked that. Okay, so moving on, we are gonna be having a uh, bourbon, chocolatey cream uh, biscuits. I've had better chocolatey cream chocolate biscuits, but they're still good. All right, now we're gonna move on to a Cadbury brand, I think. Yep, Cadbury. And um, Perk. And it says double on it. Rip it, share it. It looks like you can just... Because it's already broken on the inside and you're supposed to share it. Oh, it really... Oh, it really tore. So when you when you um, grabbed it, it just pulls apart. Whoa. Well, sort of. <laughs> Be like, yeah, let me just break this open for you here you go that's what they look like in the middle a bit like a really thick kit kat it tastes kind of stale <laughs> it's more chewy than crispy i'm pretty sure that's what happens when wafers go stale um it tastes okay it's not i've had better cadbury flavored things 
Okay, so if you got the original box, that is all the snacks that you got. So if you ordered the family box, which is what we have here, it's all the snacks we tried, plus what we're about to try. Okay, so next we have, um, they're called Hide and Seek. It says on the packages, world's best molded chocolate chip cookies. Made with the world's finest chocolates. Interesting. Okay, okay. Some bold claims. I'm not really picky about chocolate chip cookies. Yes, I am. I changed my mind. I am picky about my chocolate chip cookies. I like soft and chewy chocolate chip cookies. These are not, these are like the hard ones. Makes me think more of a biscuit than a cookie. The chocolate chips they have spread throughout are pretty good. Oh, I totally spaced out. I don't know what just happened, but I was, already was about to just go ahead and just skip telling you what we're about to try next and just start eating. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> next, we have Good Day Cashew. Um, so they are cashew cookies. This is what they look like. I sincerely wish I liked biscuits. Um, it's soft, sort of tastes like a cashew, but it's like just a thick, buttery biscuit. Uh, that's okay. I think we're about to have another biscuit. <laughs> My gosh. Uh, this one's gonna be pineapple flavored with like a pineapple cream in the middle. I broke it, but this is what they look like. I've never been a very big fan of pineapple. There's been a few things here and there that have been flavored pineapple that I like. This is not one of them. I think it tastes more like fresh pineapple and I don't like fresh pineapple. These are, these are not great. So next we're moving on and we are gonna be trying this. This is Mad Angels. And this has pickled mango flavoring on it. Oh, those are good. So it's lime and mango. And there's a little bit of like a spicy chili right at the end. These are good. These are really good. And the chips are not, they're not like a corn tortilla. They're more like a, like a really thin puff, perhaps. Okay, so next we are having Rolla Cola. The solid cola. So I have not drinking Coca-Cola in probably three years. I don't think I've ever had any soda in like three years. Unless you count these like candies. It smells like Coca-Cola to me. What they look like. It kind of tastes like a sweetened Coca-Cola. Unless Coca-Cola is just really sweet and I don't remember it very well. I actually kind of liked those. Those were, those were pretty good. All right, so next we are going to be trying uh, Kiss Me. <laughs> it is a um, toffee bar with hints of cardamom in it, um, which I don't know. I don't know. Well, that cardamom, you can taste it. It definitely gives us a difference to the toffee. I mean, I don't think there's any toffee out there that can beat the Brazilian nut one from the UK, but... This is, this is unique and it has a nice taste to it. And I like the texture. It's good in like very unique way. Okay. So next we're going to be trying stre Stretchy Man. Oh, very, very strong smelling. I'm assuming they do look like little people. Oh my gosh. You definitely don't get very many in a bag. <laughs> you get four. <laughs> I'm holding one and, and there's three people sitting in a corner. They're... <laughs> <laughs> okay, it looks like the ones like holding them back. Like, I'll protect you guys. <laughs> okay, so I'm assuming these stretch. Not really. Like, they do, but not. I'm tearing it. I guess they stretch a little bit, but I'm tear. I'm definitely tearing it. It's definitely not stretchy to like the extreme they were they're kind of showing on there oh well <laughs> my boy little man for some reason i thought they were going to be kind of sour um but they're definitely sweet i like the texture the texture is like nice and soft it's not overly chewy but i feel like the only flavor i'm really getting is sugar <laughs> rather than like like a nice strawberry like i got it a little bit right at the end there but it's like a it's like a nasty 
almost nasty artificial strawberry. Okay, so let's move on. Next, we are going to be trying orange tropical uh, chocolate bar. <clears throat> so you could have got different flavors, and I definitely lucked out because I do like orange and chocolate together. Um, but there was a mocha flavored. Gosh, so happy I didn't get that one. Ugh. Um, but then there was another one, and it just says bitter flavor variation. I I don't know what that means. <laughs> Uh, if you got the bitter flavor one, please let me know, uh, what you thought because I am super curious. Smells good. That's what it looks like. It looks like dark chocolate, maybe? This stuff is, like, really thick. Look how thick it is. Oh, so it's got, like, bits of orange peel in there. Yeah, this is definitely dark chocolate. And it is very good okay so there's only two snacks left along with the one i'm like super excited for can't wait ah! but anyways before we get to that one we're going to be trying this one which is roll yo <laughs> uh it's pretty much a swiss roll uh but strawberry flavored that's what it looks like it's an okay strawberry taste i think like little chunks of like real strawberries throughout this would have been really good I don't know if I really cared for the strawberry taste, but I liked, I definitely liked the bread on the outside. That was good. Okay. So it's time to try this last snack. I'm so excited. I have not had this for quite a few years. Um, and I've actually been shopping online, kind of like looking for one to order. So this just worked out because I've been wanting to try it again to see if I really did like, like it, like it. And it's called Son Papi, which I'm not sure I'm saying that right. But it's kind of like cotton candy. Um, yeah, this is the packaging it comes in. So you can uh, you can see it right there. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, it smells so good. That's what it looks like. So good. See, my thing is I really, really like the texture of cotton candy. But I don't really care for like the flavors or the sweetness of it. This is it. This is the texture of cotton candy, but savory with a little bit of sweetness. Mm. Um. So good. So good. Yes, it is definitely as good as I remember. So that brings us to the end of the box. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of like point out like my favorites. Obviously, the Son Pop D. Uh, but definitely the dark chocolate, orange dark chocolate, very, very good. I also really liked the um, sweet and salty, yeah, sweet and salty mix that we had. I think the only other thing that like stands out that I liked is, is these, the uh, Mad Angels. It was like the lime and the mango and all that. Everything else, uh, I, I could pass on the rest of it. Um, but these four are just, these are perfect. I these are really, really, really good. You guys, I just filmed my entire ending and I wasn't recording the whole time. <laughs> well, let me rewind. <laughs> so you guys know I like to end my videos with a Bible verse and I'm just gonna be going to John 3.16 and 17 for god loved the world in this way he gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life for god sent his son into the world that he might condemn the world but that the world might be saved through him if you've if you've never read the bible before um john john is a really great place to start and I know a lot of people know John 3.16. That's kind of like the one that's like used a lot. But it, I don't feel like it's lost its weight and its meaning um, at all over the years. It's just as important as it has been from the beginning. Okay, you guys. So if you got this box, comment down below and tell me what you thought of it. If you didn't get it, tell me what you think your favorite snacks would have been. And yeah. <laughs> But anyways, you guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit 
the thumbs up and the little bell to get notified whenever I post a new video. Cause you never know, I could post something like about cauliflower cereal. But anyways, you guys, again, thanks for watching and until next time, bye.